Hello everyone, I am Dr. Spoorthi Kapate, Pediatrician and Neonatologist at Cloud9 Hospital, Electronic City. So meconium aspiration means that intrauterine or when the baby was inside the mother's womb, uh, due to any kind of stress, the baby has passed meconium or the first tool and it gets mixed up with the amniotic fluid and sometimes the babies can aspirate it, which means that the meconium can go into the lungs of the baby. Once the meconium goes inside the lungs, there is no way to take it out. If it is there is slight meconium in the nose or the mouth, you can just suction it out. But apart from that, if the meconium has gone into the lungs, there is no way to take it out. So this condition leads to a medical, uh, we call it chemical pneumonitis. So meconium aspiration actually leads to chemical pneumonitis, which means that the baby has pneumonia because of it. The baby will have breathing difficulty. The difficulty could be from mild to severe, where in mild you might just have to give a little bit of oxygen. Moderate, maybe you'll have to give uh, put the baby on a respiratory support called HFNC. And if it is very severe, may also need ventilation, which means that we put a tube inside the baby's throat and put the baby on the ventilator and help the baby breathe better. So again, depending on the severity of the condition, the baby can stay in the ICU for like I said, depending on the condition, from one day to a few weeks. The treatment is basically oxygen. Uh, you give antibiotics to control the infection and you give uh, whatever breathing support that the baby needs and you wait it out. There is no way to fasten the process of healing in a chemical pneumonitis. The body automatically absorbs this uh, meconium that has been aspirated and the baby eventually gets better. So it's very hard to say how long the baby is going to be in the ICU. It depends on the condition of the baby.